Hello students. Welcome to our first session of AWS Certified Solution Architect Video Series. In our today's lecture, we will talk about these topics. 1. What is cloud computing? 2. Cloud computing characteristics. 3. Types of clouds. 4. Cloud services. Now, let's start with our first topic. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services like servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, intelligence and more over the internet to offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. You typically pay only for cloud services you use, helping lower your operating costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as and when your business needs a change. In cloud computing, all computer services are like utilities, meaning that in order to host an application, we don't require to purchase and maintain expensive IT infrastructure. Let's take an example of a utility. All of us are using electricity, right? We use electricity as a utility, in varying amounts without any restriction on its consumption and without knowing from, where and how it is generating power. All we need to do is pay its bills as per its usage. Now, let us take some examples of cloud computing, which we are using in our daily life. To keep it simple, all cloud-based services are AAA, meaning that they can run at any time, anywhere, and on any device. Any IT service which is based on AAA principle is a cloud-based service. For example, a Gmail account can be created and managed at any time, from anywhere, and on any device, right? It means Gmail is a cloud-based service. Now, let's talk about the characteristics of cloud computing. 1. Self-service provisioning. It means every service you host into the cloud is do-it-yourself. It means that in order to manage a cloud service, you do not require to request an IT professional who will configure the service on your behalf. We can provide any cloud-based service using a simple wizard. For example, a Gmail account. Suppose, you want to create a Gmail account, you do not need to request anyone but simply follow, a simple online wizard. 2. Elasticity. Elasticity is one of the most important characteristics of cloud computing, means you can increase, or decrease, the resources of your service as per your requirement. Suppose, if you have 15 GB space free in your Gmail account and you require more than 15 GB space, you can increase space by paying money to Google. And, suppose, if you do not require more than 15 GB space, then you can decrease the space as well. 3. Pay as you go, you do not need to invest for expensive IT infrastructure. Just host your service into the cloud and pay for it as you use the infrastructure. For some services, they will provide you a per second usage billing. For example, you are buying 100 GB space from Gmail, they will send you a monthly invoice and you have to pay as per your usage. 4. Workload Resilience High availability is the most important factor in IT services. Customer application must be available 24 by 7. To provide high availability you have to implement redundant infrastructure. It means your data center needs to have dual servers, dual routers, dual internet connections, and dual electricity connections. So, even if any one of your data center components goes down, the users will get uninterrupted service. But in the case of cloud, redundancy will be managed by the cloud service provider. They will implement dual infrastructure and you only need to pay money to them to host the services. Once again, going back to Gmail example, Gmail provides us with 99.99% .99 uptime. It means even if one of the components goes down in Gmail data center, we don't need to worry about it. As it is the responsibility of Gmail to provide us with uninterrupted service. 5. 
Migration flexibility. Suppose, you have an on-premises server. And you want to migrate. Your service from on-premises servers to cloud servers. Cloud service provider gives us a migration facility. Enabling you to easily migrate your service. From your on-premises infrastructure to cloud infrastructure. Some cloud service providers also provide a cloud-to-cloud -cloud migration facility. Again, in the Gmail example, if you have your own email server, and you want to migrate all your email accounts into Gmail server, you can do it easily, because Gmail provides free migration facility from an on-premises server to Gmail servers. Now let's talk about types of cloud. There are mainly three types of cloud. 1. Private cloud. 2. Public cloud. 3. Hybrid cloud. Here is introduction of private cloud. Private cloud refers to a model of cloud computing. Where IT services are provisioned over private IT infrastructure for the dedicated use of a single organization. A private cloud is usually managed via internal resources. Private clouds may also be referred to as enterprise clouds. Public cloud is defined as computing services offered by third-party providers over the public internet, making them available to anyone who wants to use or purchase them. They may be free or sold on demand, allowing customers to pay only per usage for the CPU cycles storage or bandwidth they consume. Here is difference of private and public cloud. In private cloud we have on-premises hardware, while in public cloud, service provider makes compute resources available to us over internet. Public cloud services are based on shared computing, storage and networking resources. In private cloud, computing storage and networking resources dedicated to a single organization. Public cloud is scalable on demand, means you can increase or decrease resources as per requirement, while private cloud is based on limited supply matched to demand. In private cloud, we have direct control of underlying cloud infrastructure, while in public cloud we don't have direct control on underlying hardware. Now let's talk about hybrid cloud. Hybrid cloud is a cloud computing environment that uses a mix of on-premises private cloud and third-party public cloud services with orchestration between the two platforms. By allowing workloads to move between private and public clouds as computing needs and costs change, hybrid cloud gives businesses greater flexibility and more data deployment options. Now we will talk about type of cloud services. Although cloud computing has changed over time, it has been divided into three broad service categories, infrastructure as a service, ERs, platform as a service, PaaS, and software as a service, SaaS. Here is brief introduction about ERs, PaaS, and SaaS. Infrastructure as a service. ERs, is a form of cloud computing that provides virtualized computing resources over the Internet. In an ERs model, a cloud provider hosts the data center infrastructure like servers, storage and networking hardware, as well as the virtualization or hypervisor layer. Biggest advantage of ERs is cost saving. An obvious benefit of moving to the ERs model is lower infrastructure costs. No longer do organizations have the responsibility of ensuring uptime, maintaining hardware and networking equipment, or replacing old equipment. EOS also saves enterprises from having to buy more capacity to deal with sudden business spikes. Amazon EC2, Windows Azure Virtual Machine and Google Compute Engine are example of EOS. Platform as a Service pass, is a cloud computing model, in which a third-party provider delivers hardware and software tools. 
usually those needed for application development to users over the Internet. A PaaS provider hosts the hardware and software on its own infrastructure. As a result, PaaS frees users from having to install in-house hardware and software to develop or run a new application. A PaaS provider builds and supplies a resilient and optimized environment on which users can install applications and data sets. Users can focus on creating and running applications rather than constructing and maintaining the underlying infrastructure and services. AWS Elastic Beanstalk, Google App Engine, Apache Stratus all these are example of PaaS services. Software as Services Software as a Service, SaaS, is a software distribution model in which a third-party provider hosts applications and makes them available to customers over the Internet. SaaS removes the need for organizations to install and run applications on their own computers or in their own data centers. This eliminates the expense of hardware acquisition, provisioning and maintenance, as well as software licensing, installation and support. Google Apps, Microsoft Office 365 are example of SaaS, 